What's going on, everybody? Simple back at it like I'm checking my height. Today, we're checking out a channel called Oceana. Um, this is known as Powerful Video. Why we need to stop plastic pollution in our oceans for good. Now, if you guys don't know, we are representing for Team Seas. Um, I'll speak a little bit about this at the end of the video. So if you guys don't mind just sticking around for a moment or two at the end of the video, I'll explain what the whole Team Seas thing is about. Um, <clears throat> This video will be a fundraiser, though, which means none of the monetization that is made from this video will go towards me. All of it will go towards Team C's. So if you could do me a favor, watch it through, share it, make sure they watch it through as well. Um, it, it will really, really benefit the entire program that I'm going to speak about at the end. So, all right, let's get into it. Our oceans sustain life. An abundant ocean can feed a billion people a healthy meal every day forever. But now they are being filled, killed by throwaway plastics. The equivalent of one garbage truck of plastic is dumped in the sea every minute. 17.6 billion pounds every year. That's insane. That is an absolutely insane. Excuse me. It was so insane. It gave me an indigestion. That's how bad it is. It's so bad it gave me indigestion. Imagine that. That's a lot of plastic, though. Seriously, all joking aside, that is way, way too much plastic. Just plastic. Just plastic. 17.6 billion pounds every year. Plastic is everywhere in our ocean. Floating on the surface, mixing in the salt water, and sitting on the ocean bottom, it's miles and miles deep. And once in the ocean, it never goes away. Over hundreds of years, it breaks down into small pieces. But those pieces, even the tiny ones called microplastics, are still plastic. Yeah, and the problem is that, all right, so hundreds of years, right? And we have a lot of microplastics in the water. And I'm pretty sure glitter is a big piece of the microplastics. I think that's why a lot of places have started banning glitter. Um... But hundreds of years it takes for this plastic to just degrade. And then we're still left with plastic. So at what point do we start filtering this stuff out? Like, oh man. Sea turtles are choking on it. Scientists say that over 60% of whale and dolphin species are affected by it. Zooplankton, the base of the ocean food chain. Eat it. And so do we. It's in the water we drink. Yeah. It's in our food. Yep. Microplastics have been found in our salt, our honey, and our beer. And sometimes even in the air we breathe. Companies are choosing to make Wonder something where cancer comes that from. will be used just once from a material that lasts forever. Yeah. If you don't. And then they go and tell you, don't reuse it. It's really dangerous to reuse it. It ain't dangerous to reuse it. You're crazy. You're crazy. You can't tell me that water sitting in a bottle on a shelf for months before someone actually buys it, right? Because in no way, shape, or form, like, there's so much water being produced in bottles. Just water bottles, right? They sit with water in them. Just because the date says the date on it when you buy it doesn't mean that is the date that the machine filled it up with. That's the date it went through the printing machine to tell you what the bed, the sell-by date is. Because we have to have sell-by dates because that's what makes things go bad. But the bottle lasts forever. So if there's a problem with water sitting in the bottle for too long of a time or reusing it, right... Why not make better plastic then? Because they want you to throw it away. I reuse plastic bottles constantly. I haven't had a problem. I don't know. I don't like just throw away plastics are already doing to our world. Brace yourself. And then they make the other plastic we bottles that you a are supposed to use throw every day. In Doesn't our make any sense. and the ocean's future. Four times more plastic will be produced between now and the middle of the century than has been produced. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so from 1950 to 2050, okay? Times more plastic will be produced. 
That's in millions of tons. So we're in that yellow category between 2010 and 2030, for those who didn't know. 30 years from now is 2050. 30 years from now, in your lifetime. They're estimated to making that much more plastic. Now, why do we need that much more plastic? See, these are the hidden curtain types of things that I've always wondered about. Like, why don't they just tell us all of it? Why don't they tell us why they're building so much plastic? Why do you need so much plastic? What's the point? Especially if it's destroying our ecosystem. It doesn't make much sense. Between now and the middle of the century, cause and problems to create solutions for more money. History. Four times more. What can we do? Recycling? Of all the plastic ever generated as of 2015, only 9% was recycled. Even when it is recycled, plastic degrades. Your plastic soda bottle maybe becomes a shampoo bottle, then a floor mat. Even in the best case, it doesn't recycle, it downcycles. Mm. And then it becomes pollution that ruins our beaches and chokes sea animals forever. We should not be forced to pollute the ocean every time we eat, drink, or go shopping. We need to be given a choice a plastic-free choice. This is not hard to imagine. Indeed, some responsible companies are already leading the way. There are throwaway plastic-free aisles in supermarkets. Beverage companies already offer plastic-free soda and salsa water. Restaurants offer plastic-free service. There are plastic-free rooms in hotels. An airline is now offering a plastic-free flight. And Oceana and our allies are winning plastic-free victories. Following campaigning by Oceana, Peru passed a law that keeps plastic out of national parks and beaches. Good. Belize is getting rid of styrofoam. Look at it just floating all around. And the European Union has mandated reductions for throwaway plastic throughout its 28 member countries. Wow. But with your help, we can do more. Together, we can create a movement to reduce throwaway plastic. We can make sure we're all given real plastic-free choices. Yeah. We can help our cities, towns, schools, and workplaces establish zones that are free of throwaway plastic. Let's stop plastic pollution from wrecking our beaches and our oceans and have healthy oceans that delight and sustain us for generations to come. Please join our campaign. Go to oceana.org slash plastics today. All right. Let me know what you guys thought about this one in the comments. Now let's get to some Team C stuff. So Mark Rober and Mr. Beast have come together and joined with Boyan Slot of the Ocean Cleanup Project. Um, <clears throat> they are trying to raise $30 million to pull 30 million pounds of trash. Now, as of the counter this morning, it was at about $5 million in just over 24 hours. So I say morning when I woke up. It's like two o'clock in the morning where i am right now i'm on the eastern side so it's 2 a.m eastern time where i am they dropped this 1 p.m pacific time on the 29th so that gives you a time frame um <clears throat> and like i said they've raised already five million dollars out of the 30 million but this video right along with all of the other team c's playlist videos will all be part of that fundraiser as well um Every single video that you guys watch, all of the money that gets made from it um, goes directly to Team C's. Now, if you don't know who Boyan Slot is, definitely make sure you guys go check out the Ocean Cleanup channel. Um, this this young man invented this machine that basically sits like a pool skimmer at the mouth of some of the dirtiest rivers that pollute our oceans. And 
it funnels all of the trash, just like a pool skimmer would around the edges of a pool, into this main area where it has, um, oh, I can't remember what, what the, a conveyor belt, stupid, a conveyor belt that pulls all the trash up into separated dumpsters, and they just fill the dumpsters. It pulls a lot of trash out of the water, and it might not be the best, like the the. What am I trying to say? <laughs> it might not be like the only thing that we should be focused on, right? But it is a huge, huge step in the right direction in getting us to focus on what we should be focused on, which is cleaning our ocean. So definitely make sure you guys share this video. Go check out the other Team C's videos in the playlist. Watch them through. Make sure you guys share those out too. Let's raise some money. All the money that gets raised through the fundraiser up until January, um, if it hits $1,000, I'll be actually putting in $1,000 of my own money as well to match that donation. So everything up to $1,000 will get matched by me, by the channel here, um, and we're going to double that donation and then give them something very, very decent. Try to do our part as well. Um, so I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Make sure you check out one of the other two videos. Definitely check out the Team C's videos. Make sure you guys stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive. I'll catch you on the next one.